one and all to the KOE Nation for the final Elite Eight matchup in the 32 Ride Tournament. Who's moving on to the final four, folks? I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man that makes you the podcast cower, the prince and potentate of the political parlance, the lord of the Scottish Highlands, and one damn ants man, if I do say so myself. You can find me at KOE Nation on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch, and I am joined by my in Dominal broadcast partners, the one, the only, the non coppa friendly, rye loving son of a bitch, the blend master, Tony fucking G. Find me at TikTok, Tony the Rod 2.0. And also, the one, the only, your Big Buck and Emperor Chicken. You can find me at Big Buck and Empire YouTube and Facebook. Nice. Well, gentlemen, we're going to get into some very interesting, very high end rise at this point. <laughs> This one? I don't know if I'd say high-end, Phil. I will. I mean, Considering quality, how well this one's done. Look, quality-wise, I agree. It's high-end, but these are affordable. They are rides. affordable, but chicken, does this bottle look familiar? It should, because this is the same bottle from our 10 Rye flight and the one that I brought with me to Iowa. So this I've, is... This... I've been through about six of them since we started say, with that one. Yep. So. Wow. Now, Tony, Tony, I need you to turn around so this is super blind so like you, you yeah sorry man sorry, like yep yeah but chicken's not blind well one of us needs to be yes oh, this is okay so so tony right. could be the deciding factor in some it may come down to me it very well could and then we've also got pendleton 1910 an amazing 12 year rye whiskey from canada so one that a lot of people sleep on, and it's made it all the way to the Elite Eight of this 32 Rye Tournament. So, now, T, you can turn back. All right. Big okay. mystery. All right. So. So, let's recap real quick. The bullet is 90 proof. The 1910 Pendleton, only 80 proof. So, there is a pretty good size gap in proof here. And honestly, I think flavor wise there's a pretty big gap here too i personally like both of these a lot they're two of my personal favorites that was evident from the first time we had them in the 10 rye flight but i think they're pretty different so i don't think this is going to be very challenging to figure now out. first uh, tony take them up to your nose and see if you can figure out which one's which that's very very soft hmm First smell, I would guess that this one's the bullet and this is the Pendleton, but they both have kind of a very soft nose, so. Hmm. Wait, wait. There's the lemongrass. That's the bullet. There's like the powdered sugar sweetness here, so this is the Pendleton. It is, Tony. Good guess there. Wow. Good guess. So. Wow. Glad we did that blind. What are we starting out with? Let's start off with the bullet. That's why we had, kind of had to do the reveal after the nose. But, That's fair. So, Chicken, bring up your bullet rye whiskey. Mm. Lemongrass. That is just... Mm -hmm. Yummy. It's so smooth. Oh. This, is, this was kind of my entry point to rye. Before, oh, yeah. before I did the, the flight with you guys... That's really the only rye I can think of other than like crown rye that I really got familiar with, which, yeah, I'm glad I got more familiar with rye because after that entry with the crown rye, I could have walked away forever and never come Ooh, back. But God, ouch. it's so smooth. And I know a lot of people probably having it for the first time don't agree with that if they're not familiar with rye, but it's such a nice, subtle, soft sweetness. I love this stuff. So good. Uh, well, now let's take up Pendleton 1910 12-year ride, gentlemen. <sighs> mm. 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 That's so soft. Buttery? Yeah, Beautiful. butter. Oil. Yeah. It's like a, a, a cooking oil, like a canola oil or but with like a powdered sugar like that's the type it's not like a like a syrup sugar or a sugar cane to me it's like a powdered sugar sh sweetness mm. yeah i damn this is hard this is really hard um i'm gonna go back to each one 
Yeah. I'd say the, the 1910 tries so hard to be really sweet. It's just it doesn't have enough kick behind it, though. To... I, yeah, you're it right. It almost feels like they, like, threw some molasses into the mm -hmm. batch. Mm -hmm. like, I, like, I don't know how else to describe it's it. That's... trying really hard, and it's not doing a bad job, but it's trying really, really hard. See, I well, feel like they nail it with the 90 proof with the with the bullet. Because anything more, and I think that lemongrass is going to get way too overpowering. I feel like yeah. they, they got the right I think the right it would proof. still be there, but I think it'd get a lot more sour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think they just got the just right water. Which With this, though, the Pendleton, I feel like they, they're cheating themselves a little bit. Like, this could easily be 85 proof, and I think... It'd be a lot better. I, yeah. Not that it's bad, but I think it could improve a lot with a higher proof. Damn. You're almost persuading me here. But, well, before we talk about persuasions, we're going to get to votes here. And, <clears throat> Chicken, since you are uh, living the bachelor life, you are living La Vida Loca at the moment. Yeah. Um, Let's not talk Ricky Martin today. <laughs> yes, true, true. Uh, that, that'll all come to an end very soon. But we're going to give you the first vote here in this particular matchup. Are you going with Bullet or Pen 10? Pen 10 is a very good uh, competitor. This is an actually a really, this is a really good matchup between the two because it is. Yeah. You get you it's get to really get into what your preference is. Do you like the sweet? Do you like the spice? Do you like the proof or uh, or the or the softness? Um, Pendleton's so close on this one for me, but I'm sticking with Bullet. Um, oh, the it's not the sweetness of the the pen that turns me off, but it's there's a it's like a weird complexity, and I know it's a rye when I'm drinking the the Bullet. I just I'm heading towards Bullet. Bullet's getting my vote. Well, all right, I'm going to go ahead here and... <sighs> Sorry, T. This is going to put a lot on your shoulders because... Oh, boy. You're going Pendleton? Barely. Really? It's just so good and sweet and delicious it and is. beautiful and 12-year. And it hits everything that I like. First. If it was I... 90 proof, it would be perfect. Exactly. Or, and that's yeah, where I'm at. Like, why... Why do they dilute this down to 80? I think, I just feel like it's just... I gotta give you that. It's just, it feels like Highway Robbery. Like, why Why cheat us? Why cheat yourselves? Like, there's more here. We know there's more here. Why go 80 proof? This, hey, isn't, this isn't an Irish Tony, or a Scotch. Tony, tell me that you really like bourbon without telling me you really <laughs> like bourbon. Well, but that's Good the other thing. Like, there. with this being 80, this is gorgeous. It's drinkable. It's so smooth. It's sweet. It's delicious. But you don't think rye immediately when you're drinking this. No. There is nothing about drinking this that doesn't just scream rye whiskey. So the fact that this is 12 years and only 80 proof, while delicious, I'm sorry, but this is quintessential rye. So it's the bullet for me. I am outvoted this evening, but Penn... Do not feel bad. No, you made it no. to the Elite Eight. And you damn near made it to the Final Four. Excellent, excellent whiskey. Yes, Tony's going to blend his last little bit there. Um, but yes, Pendleton 1910. You came, you saw, you conquered. You are the Canadian rye whiskey of extreme. Indeed. But you will not move on to the Final Four. As Chicken said in last year's Burnham, Bourbon Tournament. Yes. There the Burnament. Yes, the Burnament. Burn burn we should go with that. It was a I great like Burnament last year. It was an awesome start, Burnament. Start printing t-shirts immediately. <laughs> As Chicken said last year, Tony, we shall eat. Eat we shall. So now, Bullet moves on to the final four of the 32 Rye Tournament to face off against Templeton Six Year, Ooh. the Iowa Rye of Extreme, folks. This is getting slim in its margins. So I before really we go, want to get a hold of the 12 year bullet rye so badly. That will so, be for the so next badly. Rye Tournament in many, many. If anybody out there finds it. Yes. But Tony, tell us how the blend yes, is. The blend. It's so subtle with the bullet coming through with that lemongrass, and it's just that powdered sugar sweetness of the Pendleton. 
Mm. And uh, yeah, it's similar on the on the taste. Mm -hmm. The bullet overtakes it all. There is a little sweetness there, but I had a perfect 50-50 blend. I had and pretty that, close to 50-50. It's pretty that, good. That's pretty good. The bullet is a little more powerful to me. Yeah, it is. But, but it's also because the higher proof. It's like the bullet with just extra powdered sugar sweetness. So I'm going to give that a, a B plus. I yeah. agree. B. A B, B to B plus. So yeah, very nice. Folks, bullet rye is now in the final four. And folks, as I'm going to say around here. All that being said, thank you for joining us for this Elite Eight matchup in the 32 Rye Tournament. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, the man of the hour, the man of the power, the man that makes you the podcast tower. You can find me at KOE Nation on YouTube, KOE Nation on Twitch, KOE Nation on TikTok. Yes, folks, that's K as in King, O as in, oh my God, you can find KOE Nation on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch. E is an extremely happy to know. You can find KOE Nation on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch. And I'm signing off, handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partners. Tony, Chicken, take it away. I'm just Tony G. Linktree slash Big Bucket, folks. All over that bitch. Appreciate you. Love you. to refabricate you raging rivers of gold that's what the brochure advertised and now we're lost we gotta take it down let you get them slow it's hard to survive Eldorado oh lord well, let's see how that one went. Yeah.